American scientists injected human cells into the embryo of a monkey. Hey, welcome to a new video. Have you ever wondered which different animal species can mate to create hybrids? Join us as we go over the craziest crossbreeding experiments in the world. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. 20. Toyger Toygers are a domestic breed of cats created by crossing a domestic house cat with a Bengal house cat. The resulting hybrid resembles a tiny tiger, hence their name, which is a play on the phrase toy tiger, created by Judy Sudgen in the 2000s. This breed was initially meant to raise awareness for conservation efforts for real tigers. Through selective breeding, these cats have maintained a friendly and affectionate temperament, combined with the beauty of Bengals. In 2008, the Toyger was officially recognized by the International Cat Association. Before creating the Toyger, Judy had carefully bred her cats for decades, starting with an imported tomcat from India, with the pattern she wanted for her new breed. It seems that crossing different breeds of cats was in Judy's blood, since her own mother created the domestic Bengal cat. 19. Mullard Mullards, also known as mule ducks, are a hybrid breed resulting from the crossbreeding of Moscovy ducks and Pekin ducks. This breed is unusual because it's actually centuries old by some expert accounts, though the timeline isn't always very clear. It's believed that the crossbreeding began in Europe during the 17th or 18th century in an effort to create a new breed of duck specially designed for their meat. The Pekin ducks are known for rapid growth and plumpness, and the Muscovy ducks are known for their lean, flavorful meat. By combining the two types of ducks, the resulting breed was thought to be the perfect meat duck. This breed hasn't branched out as its own unique breed because the offspring are sterile. Each mullard needs to be bred intentionally, and the offspring cannot be left to their own devices to continue to replenish the flock. Today, this specialty breed is renowned for its culinary significance. 18. Narluga This is a narluga, the natural result of a narwhal and a beluga whale mating. In the late 80s, a fisherman caught what he assumed was a beluga whale until he realized the skin was gray and not white and it had the famous narwhal horn. The animal was so intriguing that the fisherman kept its skull. About 10 years later, a researcher saw the skull on the top of the fisherman's roof and asked about it. 30 years later, DNA proved that the animal the fisherman had caught was born of a narwhal mother and a beluga father. The testing also proved that it was a first-generation hybrid, meaning both of the parents were purebreeds, not hybrids themselves. The narluga was an adult when it was caught by the fisherman. It's believed that this hybrid does occasionally occur in nature because narwhals and belugas can inhabit the same areas as they are both arctic cetaceans. The hybrids are not able to procreate themselves though, which explains why the one studied was a first generation. Due to the rarity of their interactions during mating season and the inability of the offspring to mate themselves, the estimated frequency of this hybrid being born is about one in a million. 17. Beefalo Beefalo is a hybrid breed resulting from crossbreeding domestic cattle and American bison, dating back to the mid-20th century in the US. This resulting hybrid was created for the meat industry. Bison have darker, more flavorful meat, while the domestic cattle are much easier to maintain on a farm as livestock. In the late 60s, American bison began to dwindle in numbers, which sparked the idea to invigorate the species with cattle DNA while also creating livestock. The crossbreeding program was initiated by a rancher named Jim Burnett in Montana. He selectively bred bison bulls with domestic cattle cows. He was trying to create offspring that would have a high tolerance for harsh climates, resistance to disease, and beef with reduced fat content. Today, the breed is still being used for meat cows, and the ratio of DNA has shifted slightly. They typically have a higher percentage of cattle genes, about 60% cattle to 40% bison, before beefalo were turned into a successful breed capable of creating new generations of animals, other ranchers had tried to do this, 
dating back to around 1815. However, most of these efforts resulted in sterile offspring, which meant a herd of bison had to be kept along with the beefalo. 16. Geep Geep, also known as shoat, is a rare hybrid resulting from breeding a goat and a sheep. These animals are occasionally born on farms in accidental circumstances, when goats and sheep are housed together, but they do not come about very often. Because each individual species has a different number of chromosomes, baby geeps are often stillborn. One case in which the baby survived was a male geep born to a goat mother and a sheep father. This animal had 57 chromosomes, which is between the normal 60 chromosomes that goats have and the 54 chromosomes that sheep have. It had wool and a coarse outer coat, goat-like legs, and was himself sterile. Geep can also be bred intentionally by humans. In this case, the baby is called a chimera, which means the embryo is derived from two or more zygotes. In this case, the geep is created artificially by combining the embryos of a sheep and a goat. The resulting animal will also be sterile, but having a differing genetic variation than naturally occurring geeps. The experimentation that led to these chimeras was carried out to produce more wool. Goats and sheep both grow wool though some goats do not. When embryos from goats without wool are combined with sheep embryos, the offspring will have both sheep and goat wool. 15. Green Sea Slug Cross between sea slug and algae. Imagine a marine creature that is part plant, part slug. Meet the Emerald Sea Slug. This slug is known for its unique ability to photosynthesize and produce its own energy from sunlight. Much like a plant, they can do this by stealing chloroplasts from the algae they eat and incorporating them into their own tissues. Chloroplasts are tiny structures found in plants and algae that contain a green pigment called chlorophyll, which captures sunlight and turns it into energy. The chloroplasts inside the slug continue to photosynthesize thanks to the slug's transparent body, giving the animal its vibrant green coloration. These slugs are so good at harnessing the power of photosynthesis from the algae they eat that they can eat some algae as babies and then never eat again for the rest of their lives. Experts still don't fully understand how this is possible. These slugs also play a huge role in the marine ecosystem as herbivores and as a food source for omnivores and carnivores. They also serve as hosts for the chloroplasts they eat, which helps with biodiversity among species of algae thanks to their photosynthesizing ways. Researchers are studying these creatures as their secrets may unlock breakthroughs in fields like bioenergy. Most experts believe that the slug's ability to incorporate and retain functional chloroplasts is a relatively recent adaptation. They believe this mutation gives the slugs a survival advantage. 14. Jaglion Meet the Jaglion, a result of crossbreeding between a jaguar and a lion. These unique and rare animals are a human invention. In the wild, lions and jaguars do not live in the same areas and are unlikely to cross paths. So it's very unlikely that this hybrid species could occur naturally. In some cases though, jaglions have been born accidentally without human intervention in zoos where all of the big cats are housed together. Such was the case with two jaglions that were born in 2006 at the Bear Creek Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada. The parents, one lion and one jaguar, had been hand raised together and were closely bonded. When they were separated by the staff, they each became depressed. They were ultimately housed together and that's how the cubs were born. Usually when two species of big cats are crossbred, the resulting cats are infertile. Jaglions do not have this problem. 13. Kula Kamba Meet the Kula Kamba the hybrid that is closest on our list to humans. This hybrid is a cross between a gorilla and a chimpanzee. It is believed to be larger than a chimpanzee, with a flatter face and larger skull. However, according to some experts, the Kula Kamba could also be the result of a mutation. Sightings of this gorilla-chimp hybrid have been reported since the 1850s and the first picture was taken in 1996 at the Yaoundé Zoo, Cameroon. However, there has been no empirical evidence to support these claims and scientists have not yet figured out if the Kula Kamba is a type of chimpanzee, a hybrid of a gorilla and chimpanzee, 
or just a result of natural variation among individuals. The name Kulakamba comes from the Kulu sound the ape purportedly makes. Kamba roughly translates to chimp in the local language. Whether or not these monkeys can mate or do mate and what that means for the rest of the genus of great apes is still unknown. 12. Liger Ligers and the less common tigons are a hybrid species of big cats that results from the mating of a lion and a tiger. They are known for their significant size. Ligers are the largest of all big cat species. They usually inherit physical traits from both parent species such as the mane of a lion and the striped coat of a tiger which gives them their unique appearance and explain why they are so popular in zoos and wildlife parks. However, due to their size, ligers often have health issues and are generally sterile. They also commonly suffer from growth abnormalities like skeletal disorders and have a shorter lifespan than either parent. Lions and tigers mating is not a natural occurrence. In their respective habitats, they share no geographical distribution. So, like jag lions, ligers are generally found at zoos or other captive breeding programs. Unfortunately, the demand for novelty and the unique allure of hybrid animals can lead to irresponsible breeding practices and the exploitation of the cats for commercial gain. 11. Beetle Computer Hybrid In 2006, a living beetle was implanted with a computer chip by researchers. The strange hybrid could be controlled by the team. This wasn't the first time experts had taken an insect and turned it into a robot, but this was the first time that researchers were able to fully control the insect while still allowing the insect full autonomy when not being controlled. In other words, the beetle was still alive, and when it was not being controlled, it regained full control over its own body. The experiment has many positive implications. Building disaster response robots is one. Being able to construct very small robots like these could prove useful for locating victims of natural disasters that need rescue. Because they are so small and easily controlled, experts believe a computerized insect could find victims of disasters much more quickly than other means. Another advantage lies in the simplicity of creating this hybrid. There is no need to create an entire robot, only the chip and radio need to be created and then paired with a controller. Researchers also believe this type of technology could shed some light on exactly how muscles work, which could lead to a further study of certain conditions like Parkinson's disease. 10. Hybrid Pythons in Florida Florida is currently facing an issue involving Indian pythons breeding with non-native Burmese pythons. Welcome back. We've known for years that the Florida Everglades have been overrun with invasive Burmese python. These two species have interbred in the wild resulting in a hybrid population known only as the Florida Python. The hybridization occurred due to the unnatural presence of both species in the same location and their ability to interbreed and create successful, fertile new generations. Burmese pythons were introduced into Florida's Everglades National Park after multiple people released their pet pythons there rather than rehoming them. Over time, these non-native pythons have multiplied and become a significant ecological concern. There are no native predators for pythons in the area, so they have caused a lot of damage over the years. Indian pythons are a similar constrictor snake, also not native to Florida. It's believed that this species found its way to Florida due to displacement after natural disasters. The exact origins of all Indian pythons in Florida are difficult to trace as the population has likely expanded through multiple introductions and subsequent interbreeding. Some of them may also have been pets that were released by owners who no longer wanted to care for them. The offspring of these two snakes, the Florida python, can reach lengths of over 20 feet 6 meters, and its skills as a predator are unmatched in that area. Today, efforts are underway to study the genetics and behavior of the Florida pythons in order to create a management plan. Eventually, the hope is to have all Florida pythons extracted and relocated in an environment better suited to them. 9. Wolf Dog Wolf dogs are another example of a hybrid species created by humans. Wolf dogs have been highly controversial, especially in the US, when people have expressed interest in adopting wolf dog hybrids, unaware of the significant danger that comes with such an exotic pet. They are wild animals, driven by the need to hunt not 
curl up on the couch like your average Labrador. Dogs have been domesticated over thousands of years and are now genetically different from wolves. People who adopt or buy wolf-dog hybrids generally may not understand that what they're getting is not a domesticated dog. Wolves have a distinct social hierarchy that they adhere to, and the hybrids have been known for acting out in homes when they do not feel as though they are given a proper pack leader. They can be aggressive, fearful, defiant, and stubborn. This is not only dangerous to their owners, but to any other pets or children living in the home. These hybrids are also extremely hard to house train. In the wild, wolves use urine to mark their territory and it isn't easy to train that habit out of the hybrid. Unfortunately, these challenges mean that many hybrids that are bought as pets end up living a very frustrating and neglectful life. Many owners, when they cannot housebreak their new pets, will make them live in dog houses or tie them up in their yards. There is also a common myth that an animal like this would be an ideal guard dog. This isn't true, as wolves are naturally timid and shy, especially around people. Experts recommend using breeds of domestic dogs that have been bred to guard their families instead, like a Doberman or a German Shepherd. 8. Kama In the late 90s, the Kama was born. Researchers wanted to create an animal the size of a camel that would have wool like a llama. To create this new, cooperative, and friendly animal, selective breeding was used. The creation of Kamas was a totally human-engineered experiment. Since llamas and camels do not naturally cross paths in their wild environments, they wouldn't have crossbred without human intervention. One individual animal that has come about from this experiment was affectionately called Rama the Kama. Rama wasn't exactly what the team expected. They tried to create a hybrid that would have the size and strength of a camel and the personality of a llama. However, Rama ended up having a personality closer to a camel. He passed away at 14 years old which is also a short lifespan compared to camels, who live for around 40 to 50 years, and llamas, who generally have a lifespan of 15 to 25 years. The program seems to have been all but abandoned because of its poor results. Today, no commas have been released into the wild, but if they were, the impact on their ecological systems would be potentially disruptive. Hybrid animals may possess traits that allow them to survive and compete differently than either camels or llamas. Responsible management and containment is always preferred. And of course, there are ethical implications to consider. 7. Koi Dog Meet the Koi Dog, a cross between a domestic dog and a coyote. The exact origins of this practice of breeding coyotes and dogs are hard to pin down, but most people agree that it started in Mexico in the late 20th century. Around this time, Canadians were also experimenting with breeding domesticated dogs with coyotes or wolves to create a new breed of hyper-resilient sled dogs. This can also happen naturally in the wild, since dogs and coyotes can interbreed and create fertile offspring. The hybridization between coyotes and dogs is believed to have started naturally, as coyotes expanded into areas populated by humans where they would have come across domesticated dogs. It's thought that people all through the Americas realized that this type of hybridization was possible and started doing so on purpose. Ecologically, the presence of koi dogs can have implications for any ecosystem in which coyotes live in. Koi dogs can have a wider dietary range, an increased adaptability to urban environments, or different hunting strategies. Part of what makes each and every ecosystem on Earth successful is the millions of years of trial and error until a perfect balance is achieved. The introduction of a non-native species can be disruptive. 6. Growler Bear this is a growler bear. They are sometimes called paisley bears or polar grizzly hybrids. They are the result of mating between polar bears and grizzly bears. They generally have the size and shape of a grizzly bear with the muscular build and hump on their back. However, their fur coloration can vary, ranging from pale to dark, often showing a blend of white, light brown, and blonde tones. This hybrid has become more prevalent in recent years as a consequence of climate change which has led to increased overlap between the natural geographical locations in which grizzlies and polar bears live. The main cause of this is the shrinking sea ice in the Arctic, which has resulted in polar bears venturing further inland to search for food. This has brought them into closer contact with grizzlies. The very existence of roller bears has many ecological implications. 
Concerns regarding the conservation of both species have been brought up. Some argue that the hybridization is natural and can create heartier, healthier bears. However, other experts are concerned about the potential loss of purebred polar bears and grizzly bears and their genetic diversity. Hybrid bears can have a unique combination of traits inherited by both grizzlies and polar bears. Like the coy dogs, the hybrids can have differing hunting patterns and dietary needs, disrupting the natural balance struck in the ecosystem. Some others even bring up the possibility that a hybrid would have too much of an edge compared to polar bears or grizzlies. This could lead to overhunting of prey animals. 5. Glow-in-the-dark dogs Tegan, a female beagle, was born in 2011 as part of a research project led by a team of scientists at Seoul National University to create a glow-in-the-dark dog. The goal was to study genetic modification techniques and their potential applications. The scientists successfully introduced a gene that produced a fluorescent protein called RFP, or red fluorescent protein, into her DNA. The goal was not just a matter of creating a glow-in-the-dark animal for the novelty. She was bred as a proof-of-concept experiment to demonstrate the potential genetic modification techniques. Dogs and humans share 268 illnesses, so learning more about how to manipulate genes in dogs can lead to breakthroughs and treatments for many human diseases. According to the head researcher, the creation of Tegon opens new horizons since the gene injected to make the dog glow can be substituted with genes that trigger fatal human diseases. It's important to note that Tegan doesn't always glow when she's in the dark. She must be given an antibiotic, doxycycline, to activate the RFP. If she doesn't get the antibiotic, she will not glow. Choosing a biofluorescent mutation was also deliberate. Researchers wanted to be able to track the protein and highlight specific cells or genes within her body. 4. Africanized Killer Bee While there has been a lot of misinformation about killer bees floating around online, they actually do exist. They are a hybrid species that has resulted from crossbreeding between African lowland honeybees and other breeds of honeybees. The African honeybees were brought to South America in an effort to increase production of honey. Some African honeybees escaped captivity and interbred with local European honeybees. The resulting hybridization was what we now know as killer bees. The crossbreeding made them much more defensive and aggressive. They will also act aggressively in the absence of any real threat. They sting more quickly than other types of bees, and they will pursue perceived enemies for long distances. The spread of Africanized killer bees across the Americas can be attributed to human intervention and the bees' natural behavior. These bees pose a real threat to humans and animals. Some reports claim that they've taken around a thousand human lives. The presence of killer bees has had ecological and agricultural implications as well. They're competitive and have a habit of taking over native bees' habitats. 3. Goat Spider Scientists have figured out how to breed goats with the genetic materials of spiders. In an effort to try to harvest spider silk, researchers have decided to create a new animal that is more easily farmed, goats, that can produce spider silk. This was done by mixing the genetic material that encourages silk creation from spiders and inserting it into a mother goat's egg. The resulting baby goat will have the unique property of producing milk with the silk proteins in it. Farming spiders is not ideal because they not only do not fare well in captivity, they have cannibalistic habits, and they simply don't produce enough silk to be useful. One such baby goat was a goat called Freckles. Hey, Freckles, come here. The farmer who raised her was heavily funded to do so. This silk can be used for repairing garments, creating elastics, and be used inside the body without fear of the body rejecting it. This has major implications for the medical field, the silk is thought to be potentially useful for even more applications, including building materials and areas where elastics can be utilized. 2. Ashira Cat The Ashira Cat is an expensive, highly sought-after, and controversial hybrid breed of cat known for its exotic appearance. They have genetic material from African servals, the Asian leopard cat, and a domestic cat. In the early 2000s, a company called Lifestyle Pets began marketing these cats for sale and received a lot of backlash. According to Lifestyle Pets, the Ashira cat was the result of several generations of selective breeding. They claimed that the cats were hypoallergenic, 
but no cat in the world can be classified as hypoallergenic. Even hairless cats have dander, the allergen that irritates cat allergies. Seeing the Ashira cat marketed as hypoallergenic can be dangerous for the cats themselves. If someone was to adopt or buy one of these cats, thinking it would not trigger their allergies, they could end up abandoning the cat after having an allergic reaction. The company also claimed that these cats combined the wild beauty of the African serval with the temperament of a domestic cat. But mixing domesticated cat breeds with wild cat breeds does not guarantee that the resulting kittens will possess only domesticated cat behavior and none of the wild cat behavior. Ashira cats can be over 30 pounds, 13 kilograms, with a long, slender body, similar to that of a serval. They have leopard-like spots or rosettes, and their ears are large and rounded. They can come in a variety of colors, including silver, black, and gold. Lifestyle pets claim to only breed a few of these cats at a time, which means they are extremely expensive. Ashira cats routinely cost tens of thousands of dollars. The average purchase of one costs about $125,000, and that is just the price tag of the cat itself. This price tag doesn't include any veterinary care, food, treats, toys, litter, or grooming expenses. In recent years, the Ashira cat's popularity has declined. Lifestyle pets has also seemingly disappeared. It's thought that they have rebranded after seeing so much controversy over their wild claims. 1. Zebroids A zebroid is a cross between a zebra and another equine species, such as a horse, pony, or donkey. They generally look most like their non-zebra parent, but feature the zebra's signature striped coats. This is one type of crossbreeding that can and does occur in the wild, specifically in South Africa, where these animals have overlapping habitats. The reason this hybrid hasn't become its own species over time is because the offspring are almost always sterile. These hybrids have been bred since the 19th century and have even been studied by Charles Darwin. He described one famous case of the offspring of a male zebra and a chestnut mare as having even more zebra-like markings than the foal's zebra parent. Today, zebroids are most commonly bred as pets, riding animals, and sometimes as exhibits in zoos and circuses. They're popular for their looks, power, and speed. Some of them can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour, a significant feat even for an equine. That's all we have for today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.